bike packing and backpacking are very, very similar. But when we're on the bike, we need extra tools like CO2 cartridges, bike tools, spare tubes. If you're a backpacker and you're thinking about getting into cycling, bike packing might be the most natural point of entry for you. The problem is when you're preparing for your first solo bike packing trip, it can get very, very overwhelming, which is why I'm making this video to tell you how I packed for my first bike packing trip. Now, do you need a special bike packing bike? Technically, you can do bike packing on any type of bike, but depending on your journey and where you're planning to go, you might need a mountain bike, a gravel bike, or a carbon road bike like I used for my adventure. Fortunately, with bike packing, you can take way more stuff with you than you can if you were doing a backpacking trip. Even though I was just doing an overnighter, I still needed to take three bags. The first bag that I used was the SKS Germany frame bag. The one issue that I did run into with the frame bag is that because I had it packed pretty tight with a bunch of stuff, the width of the bag expanded and this kind of irritated the inner part of my legs. So make sure before you go on your trip, you check your frame bag to make sure that you're comfortable with it while you're riding. That way you can make adjustments before you leave the house. The second bag that I packed was the SKS Germany saddle bag. And this was kind of a challenge because I wear a size 46 EU, size 12 us shoes and i needed other shoes to take with me on this trip so that i'm not walking around in my cycling shoes the entire time my shoes couldn't fit into my frame bag but they did fit into my saddle bag the problem is when i went on a little ride to test out the saddle bag there was a lot of swaying left and right what i did to fix this was to use a strap from my friend to limit the amount of swaying left and right in addition to my shoes i also put my charger in there for my phone my co2 cartridges just in case i got a flat and some extra spare tubes. The third bag that I used was a handlebar bag. Now I have a SKS Germany handlebar bag, but I couldn't use that bag because my handlebars are 40 millimeters wide. So I had to switch over to a typical handlebar bag. The one I use is made by Lido, but you can use whatever handlebar bag that fits your handlebars. We did run into the possibility of it raining. So I made sure to put my jacket in there for super easy access, just in case we're out on the road and started pouring. I also put my nutrition in there. I decided to eat food that I would normally eat on any ride so I had some granola bars I had some gels just to mix it up but I didn't want to be trying anything differently on this first bikepacking trip that I was doing another crucial tip that I will give you it sounds very obvious but make sure you pump your tires before you leave the house I use the SKS Germany race compressor pump they were nice enough to lend it to me for this trip I really like it because it has nice beach wood handles the pressure gauge is really large so it's easy to read as I'm pumping my tires I don't know about you but as I'm getting older my eyesight is starting to deteriorate a little bit so this is important for me to be able to see what PSI I'm pumping my tires to. It also has foldable levers on the pump so once you're done pumping your tires in preparation for your trip it's easy to just collapse those and store it away. You also want to make sure that you're planning nutrition stops and water stops for your trip. Now if you're doing a road trip like I did just start simple search for gas stations along your route, convenience stores along your route, and plan your stops according to those. If you're going somewhere more remote, I would do some research on the area to see if there's natural water fountains in the area or if there's fountains next to hiking trails or things like that. The most important thing to remember is just to have fun. If you're like me, we're just getting started in this. We're gonna make mistakes. We're gonna get frustrations with packing. So make sure you take baby steps Plan a simple overnighter before you jump into just a week long bike packing trip with a friend and end up not enjoying it at all. That's how I prepared and packed for my bike packing trip. If you're an experienced bike packer, leave a comment below and help people who are new to this form of cycling so that they have all the answers here on this video. And I'll see you in the next video.